On this Two Sick Tuesday, I'm going to show you how us as weekend warriors, if we decide to go camping this weekend, our RV is ready to go. We just throw a few things in it and head to the campground. I decided on this video to give you my two cents on how I keep our RV ready to go any weekend that we want to go camping. All we have to do is throw our stuff in the camper and head off. Something that I implemented pretty quick when we started RVing because in my business as a real estate agent, if I'm going out of town, that's going to be my busiest week. So I try to have everything ready before we decide we're going to go camping. So the camper is just ready. What I do is when we're actually camping, I try to do what I call everyday maintenance. I just try to keep the dishes washed, the dishes put up every day. That way they don't pile up and I can have that section that's always clean and put up. Another thing that is in our daily routine as far as keeping the camper up is getting rid of poop skids. Because an RV toilet doesn't use as much water as your home toilet, you get poop skids. And I keep a toilet brush right there by the toilet so that I can grab it and whoosh it around every morning or afternoon or whenever it needs to be done. This sounds so gross. Oh, and it's something very important. So basically, I clean my toilet almost every day. Just wash it around just that way. It's always clean and it's always ready to go literally ready to go. A big thing that I like to do, because when we have our camper at home, we don't have sewer water hooked up to it. So I don't get the chance while we're at home to actually clean the RV. So usually the day before we're leaving out, I will go clean the shower, clean the floor, and do a really good deep clean of the bathroom. And if I have time that day, I like to go ahead and grab a feather duster and just kind of dust everything off. It's just crazy how dusty a camper can get in between times of using it, just because you're typically in more of a dusty environment. And I also, at this point, if I have time that day, I try to reorganize my drawers because things can just get really chaotic after a weekend being in your camper. Then, the morning that we're leaving while Bill's doing all his stuff, I wipe off all the surfaces, clean them. I even dust at that point if I didn't get to do it the day before. The things that I do to prepare for when I get home, I strip the bed of the sheets and go ahead and pile them up on top of the bed. So that way when I get home, we can just grab those sheets, I can take them in the house and I can go ahead and wash them and then bring them back out to the camper the next day. That way that's done. Because I have found that if I had to strip the sheets off when I got back, I would less likely do it than just because they're already there. Bill will go ahead and grab them and bring them in for me. But if they're not off the bed, he's not gonna take them and bring them in for me. Another thing, we in our camper, I pull everything out of the pantry. And so what I do is I try to consolidate everything that's left in the pantry into a few bins. But all I have to do is grab those few bins, take them in, and then that's done. I do the refrigerator the same way. I consolidate everything into a few bins because when our camper is in the driveway, we keep our refrigerator off and the doors propped open. And if you want to know how I do that, I have a video about that. So another big reason that I try to consolidate everything in the pantry is because when we're usually headed out, the pantry is completely full, but then we have eaten a lot of that over that week, ended up having a lot of extra space in there. And to keep things from moving while we're driving, I consolidate it as well. So that helps with that. Now, the things that I do right before we head out and start to close up the slides is I always sweep and I mop if that needs to be done. I don't keep a vacuum in our camper, so if I need to vacuum, usually I will do that while it's at the house sitting in the driveway, 
but the vacuum part, I usually just take a broom and sweep everything out and that works fine for us. I had done a poll a while back and everybody loves to leave their home clean. Not that you always, that happens, but when you're leaving to go on a vacation, you want to come home to a clean home. It's the same thing with an RV is when we go on vacation, when we bring it back home, I want it to come home and be clean. So that's why I detail everything. And then when I get back, all I do is wash the sheets, put them back on so that clean sheets are ready, and then it's ready. All we have to do is move our food and a few things back in and hit the road when we want to go on vacation. We actually, I'm kind of excited, so I want to tell somebody, so I'm going to tell you. There is a new RV park in Hilton Head, North Carolina, and we are going the first week in June there, trying to find a place to go camp, and everything is booked. Okay, let me rephrase that. All the good stuff is booked. <laughs> I'm sure I could find some RV parks, but everything, because we, it was like a last minute thing, which we always do last minute things. <laughs> That's the reason my camper is always ready for us to go. I was looking and looking, Bill was gonna be off work, and I was so excited and I couldn't find anything. Then I thought, I'm gonna look in Hilton Head again, which as far as I know, there was only two RV parks there the last time I looked. One, motor coach only. We have a fifth wheel and the other one is stupid you can't be over eight foot wide and you can't be over 30 foot long and you can't have slides they had tons of vacancies just fyi i don't understand it anyway not here or there then i found this other rv park that i had not noticed before it's called rv national resort. It had a good bit of vacancies compared to everything else I had looked at was zero zip nada. So I was like, what is wrong with this RV park? And where did this RV park come from? It just opened in December, the end of December. So nobody knows about it yet. So if you're wanting to go to Hilton Head and you have a fifth wheel and you got slides, go check out this RV park. It looks super cool. It is very dog friendly. They have big dog runs and stuff for your dogs. They even have a uh, inside area, a dog washing section. It is actually on an actual golf course. It has a lazy river and cabanas. If you're looking for a neat place to go over on the East Coast, go check it out and I'll leave a link in the description box. This is not sponsored by them and they're not sponsoring us to go to this RV park either. If you are a person that just likes to hop in your RV and head somewhere quick for the weekend, I hope these tips and tricks help you make the most of your time and make it a lot less hectic when you get ready to go. Till next time, like and subscribe.